So now that we have the clutch slave cylinder and my lines all routed, the next important step, very important step, is we need to bench bleed the master cylinder. Okay, by bench bleeding the master cylinder, we are going to remove any air that might be trapped in the cylinder itself because air will compress and will give you a proper result and you'll be nothing but frustrated. You can't just put this on the bike and expect to bleed it, all right? So inside a master cylinder is a piston that pumps, just like a hypodermic needle, pumps fluid through. So if there's air trapped in there, it compresses. Liquid doesn't compress. So I've got this little rig set up here in the outlet port. This is just a, a brake master cylinder bleeding kit. You usually get it if you buy a master cylinder for a car, but it's just basically a fitting and a plastic tube that's going to simply recirculate the fluid back in. I'm going to fill it up with brake fluid. Dot 4 is recommended for this machine. And I'm going to activate the, the piston right here with my thumb. And I'm basically going to keep going nice and gentle, cycling back and forth till I have no bubbles coming out of the bottom of my tube down here. Okay? Simple process. Only takes a few minutes with a small master like this. But if you neglect this step, you're going to have a problem. Always take your brake fluid from a sealed container because it does absorb moisture and just pour in about halfway. We don't need to fill this up right now. Okay. Don't shake your brake fluid either. I've heard people say shake it well. No, because you're introducing air into the system. All right, so I'm just going to gently push it in and then let it back nice and gentle. You see it drawing in fluid. Okay. And we're going to continue to do this until we have no air bubbles. Do not let the master go empty. Right, you can see, let me shift the camera, it's going to shake a bit. There we are. You can see a little bit of bubblage coming in from the, the one port. Okay, so just gently cycle it a little bit with your thumb. You can do this on the bike, but it's going to be messy. So if you're worried about making a mess, and paint, I'm not sure if dot four brake fluid eats paint. I normally use dot five. In all my stuff so it doesn't need any paint when they make a mess but unfortunately my guy didn't have any this week so i had to buy dot forks so i need to get this done because the weather's coming around to our side okay now you can see there's no more little, little bubbles oh okay take your time with it you can't really rush this process okay and you can see the piston moving in the bottom down there okay don't let the master go empty Keep it on in the level. Little wiggles. Whoop. Try not to fountain it out like that. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit. You know you're getting a result if the brake fluid level goes down also. Work the top little bit of it all the way down to the bottom. There you go. There's some bubbles in the bottom, back side of it. Here we go. Okay, there's no more bubbles coming out of the tube. No more bubbles coming out of the ports down there. Little bit of tiniest little bubbles. Okay, and it pays you to be a little bit picky here. All right, I'm just gently cycling it with my thumb just enough. Sometimes you give it a little tap, dislodge any bubbles that are stuck in there, just something light. Here's your watch, make sure there's no bubbles. There we go. I'm confident with that. It's been bench bled. We're good. We've got a nice solid stream of fluid coming right through. You can see it rising and falling. So I'm going to put the lid back on. Okay, make sure my lid surface is all cleaned up. Put the lid on. I'm going to leave my little line in there until I get a little bit closer to the bike. Once I get close enough to the bike, I'm going to pop that out. And I put the banjo fitting all together. All right, so we'll be back in a minute. Look, that took five minutes to bench bleed a master cylinder. Some people think it takes too long. It's going to save you half an hour of frustration. All right, bench bleed.